The other day, I got my blade hung and it spun on the arbor. In other words, the blade stayed still and the arbor continued to turn. And ever since then, I got a wobble in the blade. Um, I've got the guard all taken off so you can see. Let me show you what the wobble looks like. All right, so that's a close-up of the blade. Let me give it a kick. See the wobble? Okay, so then I had to diagnose what was wrong. Let me show you kind of um, what I did. All right, let's see if we can diagnose what's going on. So this is when I turn it. That's probably the closest it gets. And right there's probably about as far as away as it gets. So let's mark the blade right there. That's the farthest away it gets. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up this blade and I'm going to turn it 180 degrees and see what that does. Now I want to do this without, I want to put this right back on just like it is. I don't want to turn anything back behind there. My mark is now right here, so I'm going to turn it so that now my mark is 180 degrees away from that, and I'm going to put it right back on. This is going right back on the way it was. The arbor has not moved. Nothing else has moved, only the blade moved. Let's run that test again. Okay, there's our X right up against it. Okay, so now our X is probably the closest point, and that's probably the farthest point, which our X is about right here probably. Let's see. Yep, it's right there now. Okay, so it is not the blade because the, it would have continued every time the X came around. If it was the blade, the blade it would have been the largest gap. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off and we're gonna turn it 180 degrees and see if that causes our problem to move. Let's see, it's gonna be this way. Okay, so I'm going to take that off, turn it 180 degrees, put it right back on. Now it's important to tighten this up so that we know that it's putting the pressure on the blade to warp it if that's what it's going to do. Let's try it again. All right, so that's the X is now our closest point, still was our closest point. It's still the closest point. And the farthest point is when the X is away from it. So we know it's not that washer either. Okay, so if you look online, the other thing that people say that it normally is, is there's a bushing back behind this blade that causes trouble, or your arbor can be bent, which is not very common, I don't think. The bearing that holds this arbor is a common problem, from what I understand. So it could be that. But we're gonna check that. It's called a, they call it a bushing. 
So we're going to take this off. Let's see. That's the way it was, just like that, with the X set about 5 o'clock. Now here's the bushing they're talking about. So I'm going to mark it right here at 12 o'clock and I'm going to turn it to 6 o'clock. And then I'm going to put this blade right back on the way it was. Put this back on. So before, the X was our farthest point away. Okay, we're going to lock this down. We'll get y'all in here. Okay. All right, so there we're going to touch it. We're coming back around. Okay. And the X is got a gap this is probably our closest point right there and the biggest gap is coming around with well the x it's really about there but that did when we moved that washer i think i got the blade not quite um, in the exact same place when we moved that washer it um did move where the warpage was. So All right, there's there's a little washer there and this is the bushing. I bought a new one. goes on there put the washer back on see how that does. All right, so here's there's our X right there. Put it right up against it. And it doesn't move. So I think that's that's the fix. Let me show you. Um, let me pull that bushing back off. I'll get a close up and show you all the difference between um, that new washer and the one I pulled off. This is the washer that came off. You can see that the area right around here is very thin. Okay, let me show you the new one. Here's the new one. See how much wider this area is? I think what happened with this one, when it spun, this area that's lower ground off and it went down in a recess and got got to where it wobbled. So if your washer looks, if your bushing looks like this, time to get a new one. Grab you one like this. They're like five bucks. I think with shipping it was like 10. And um, hopefully that'll fix it. If this hadn't fixed it, the next thing I would have done would have probably been to test the bearing, you know, move the arbor, see if there was any play in the arbor. Um, if there was, replace the bearing. And then um, uh, hopefully this will take care of you. Thanks for watching.